And you talked about the challenge they're going to have against the Salt Lake side, and it's going to have to really fall on the shoulders of that midfield. So that box midfield with Yankov and Duke ahead of those. Yeah, it's the four-headed monster up top. And then you've got Katranas, who's going to find himself more often than not. See the captain's armband on him, and when we spoke with Pablo Mastroani, he talked about how he really felt that helped a lot with Chicho into the team to, to be named the captain this season, and that he is happily taken on that leadership role. Underway, Montreal, the Blue Blanc Noir. Ball into Hidalgo, he clears it away as we welcome in our viewers on MLS 360. And this is Anderson Julio, opportunity. We'll see what George Campbell can do, and Julio right across the face of goal. And just misses the far post. Well, walking through, laid back. Luna finding Arango. Now Gomez on the right. Oh, weak effort in on Jonathan Sierra. He covers that easily. Now Wanyama ahead, finding Bryce Duke. Montreal had some opportunities in the early moments of the game. What can they do here? Sosa across in front. Yankov, and what a save by Zach McMahon. I think there's got to be, obviously, a little bit extra motivation now going forward to just prove those doubters wrong and that he should be in, should have been included in that group. Anderson Julio now lays it ahead. Arango! And he's a little frustrated. But on that replay, it almost looked like Yankov actually got to the ball again, even though it got away from him, knocked it away, and then Anderson Julio came into him a touch late. But it is what it is. And we're going to get our first booking of the night. And it's going to be... Luna ahead, finds Anderson Julio, Ciro goes down, knocks it down and then denies Chicho Arango, but the flag goes up. Now to midfield, Waterman makes some contact with Luna, able to win the ball, finds Saliba, Saliba from distance, and that's off the mark. They give it away, and now Bryce Duke, just wide of the mark, curls it wrong side of the post. That was a better opportunity. He sidesteps in Ellie. Yankov ahead, picks out Duke. Ibrahim making a run on the left hand side. Ibrahim with the ball at his feet. Will he have enough of an opening? Cuts it back to his right foot, takes the shot, and just lifts it up and over the bar. Montreal taking advantage of that. Here's Brody again. Inside Diego. Luna takes a shot, but right at Sirwa. He gobbles that up. And this is driven ahead. Not it down and just wide. There for Hidalgo. Now Ojeda finds some space through the middle, weaves through two defenders, works it ahead, finding Anderson Julio. Campbell is back. Julio, the shot. Save is made by Sierra. Gets on the ball. Now Duke looking for a little space, gets the shot off. McMath covers it up. Didn't have enough steam behind it. McMath upfield finding Arango. A little push by Saliba. Foul by Campbell. And George Campbell will go in the book. And you can't be surprised by that. George Campbell won't be available. As he was one of the players on yellow card accumulation. Samuel Piet and Ariel Lassiter. Uh, Saliba, a little push behind on Ojeda. And now Saliba. He's going to pick up a yellow card. Half his play. Well, sometimes youth will get the best of you, and here's a, an example of it here. Fourth corner for Salt Lake into the area. Campbell heads it away. Drop down effort that just misses the mark on the far side. And that just needed to be quicker thinking there. Either quicker to Kokoro or work it out wide to Rouen. Now at the other end. Julio. Chicho Arago trying to get around Campbell. He does. Sirwa the save. Ball loose in the 18. Played out. This is Diego Luna. Luna with the right foot. A deflection and it hits the post and goes out. Will be a corner kick for Salt Lake. Oh, and you thought this was going to be the moment for Salt Lake here. It's a great play. It's a great save from Jonathan Sirwa. Off of Chicho Arango, and then the clearance falls right to Diego Luna. Does the right thing, tries to trouble goal, and it's just that last-ditch effort from these. So Waterman needed a little more on that, but Waterman gets to it before Diego Luna. I and mean, what is Diego Luna thinking? To 
stop, man. <laughs> I mean, the ball's long gone, and Diego Luna just runs into Waterman and then tries to make it seem that he took an elbow. So Poku. And now Montreal, excuse me, Real Salt Lake the other way. This is Chicho Arango. Lunging challenge by Alvarez. Cuts it off. Arango's still on the ball. Now Saliba trying to knock it away. Shot. Zero on a save and cleared away. Pressure from Mahala Alpoku. And now Katranis right in on Sirwa. Uh, good power behind the shot, but good save by the Montreal keeper. Uh, pressure's there. So it's a little punk toy going after it. Brody on his tail. Into the box. Kokoro lays it back. There's the effort, and it's over the bar. And the last oh. behind him. It's a set piece for Montreal. Glancing header and it's wide of the mark. Kokoro is trying to see if he could redirect it. He likes the service. Long ball over the top. Opoku, just his third match, takes a shot and just puts it wide. We are at that. The three minutes of added time in the second half is coming to a close right now. And that is enough for Philip Dujic. There is the whistle. It is nil-nil, so the unbeaten streaks continue.